I have been talking so much recently about Coco Wyo and different coloring books and things like that. So I thought today I'm gonna to take you through how to make cover and inside of a coloring book that is as simple as the Coco Wyo style. So we're looking at very simple pictures, designs. I've decided to go down the food and snacks option because who doesn't love food and snacks? and we'll take it from there. So let me know what you're thinking of creating next, if you need any help with it, and I'll have a look at adding it into my content calendar. Now, without further ado, let's jump over onto the computer. I'm gonna show you first just a little bit of research that I've done. Okay, so here we are over on the computer. What we want to firstly be taking a look at is these books just here. So this is kind of like, what we're going to go through today and we're going to have a look these are really popular sort of books at the moment food and snacks coloring books bold and easy that one there's a sponsored one this one here is mega miles so those books have done really well we've looked at her in the past we've looked at coco wyo as well they've got really good bsrs we've also got vv tinter so some really popular names here and you can see like the covers are really kind of bold and crisp and here you can see like someone else has tried to go for the same kind of idea my opinion is perhaps it hasn't quite worked out as well as these ones I think just the um the sizing and the layouts just a bit off really then we've got like stress relief coloring book more food and drink that one there's done quite well. Look, 449 reviews and a very basic looking um, cover. Then we've got here, we've got food and snacks, food and snacks, food and snacks. Taylor, food and snacks, food and snacks. So we can see here and we can see as well, like loads of these have got good reviews. This is an interesting cover here because this one's got obviously no colour to it, which is quite interesting. Another one there, bold and easy, food and snacks. But pretty much all of these have got reviews. If we just pick out a couple and just have a quick look at what their BSRs are. So VV Tinta, their BSR is 920. So that's really good. Coco, oh, I didn't mean to click on that one. Coco Wyo BSR, 2490. Mega Miles is 8,883. So if we take Mega Miles as one, for example, which was 8,883. That will go away. 8,886. It was a book. Calculate that. So she's making around 413 sales per day. So if I just pop that on my calculator and we assume the same $2.08. So $2.08 times 413. So that one book is bringing her in around £860 per month. So that's on the lowest of those three BSRs that we've just looked at. So as you can see, definitely a bit of a demand for these books. If we just have a look, let's see if we can just do a see inside. So you can see there how simple the books are. And what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of use what they're doing so we're going to go for the 87 pages we're going to go for um the 8.5 by 8.5 we're going to go for the food as well keep with that so we're going to go into canva we're going to start a new project oh there we go so 8.5 by 8.5 and then I'm just literally going to quickly run through and add in all my different pages. So, duplicate all the way up to 87. 
Okay, so we've got our 87 pages. So let's head straight up to the top. So page one, I'm just going to put in here a bit of a heading. So this book belongs to, and then under that, we're just going to do a dotted line. To a bit longer, yeah, like that. And then we're just going to make that bigger. We'll just pull that in a bit actually. So I want that dead center, but actually I don't want those there. It needs to come in just a touch more to be within that margin. That's it. So in order to keep everything really nice and square, what I'm going to be doing is just using, you can see now that kind of purple square around the outside, and that's how I'm going to keep everything in alignment and within the trim size. So I'm going to leave that first page like that, but I am going to come back and add more to it in a minute. Now, due to the bleed, we are going to leave the page one page blank after every coloring page and because this is going to have a few different pictures on it i will just leave that so as i said we're going in for food so let's take a look and i think i might start off with like a pizza slice or something along those lines see all there we go that's a really good one right there I'm going to go quite big. There we go. Just making sure that that's all in alignment. Page one, done. Leave page four blank. And actually what I might just do is copy that and bring that up onto here. But now I'll make this, you know, much smaller. So that we're kind of just filling up the page a little bit that's nice um let's type in soda yeah oh that one's that one's a pretty good one but i might just kind of tip that a bit just to give a bit of an angle mm, maybe not actually There we go. Bring that out as wide as I can again. So that's nice. Page five, page six is blank. Page seven, let's go for some chips. Uh, no, not like that. Oh, that one there's nice. So I think I might go with that one. So again, just keeping it in line. Page eight is blank. Page nine, let's go with French fries. There we go, that's perfect. Here we are. And Canva's really good, like, it doesn't actually put everything in the centre of the page when you first start out. Next one blank. Let's go for, like, a burrito or something. Burrito. So it's got to be in keeping. Like, you can't just put anything in. So this one here is more... Right, there we are. Oh, just seeing that one there, I might go burger next. So leave 12, 13, let's go for a burger. I just need to change the lining of that because it wasn't quite black. So we've done that. There we are, 14's blank, 15. Let's go for some waffles, but not that one. I'm not too keen on that. Waffles. Oh, that's that one there's really nice, isn't it? Um, let me just have a quick look. 
yeah, I think that one was a good one. Where's it gone? That one. You can see like just how quick and easy this really is. 17. And I don't know whether or not you're actually aware, but you can actually, if you can draw, you can go through into draw and actually draw in, you know, like your own pictures. If I just try and this will probably be very bad, but because I'm going to use my finger, but let's just say, you know, like a cup. <laughs> there we go. Totally awful, but you kind of you get the point. Let's take that out. There we go. Um, but I think that can be like a really good way of, you know, making it more unique if you can do it. I'm just seeing some ice creams, which I think is a good one. Ice cream, uh, ice cream outline. I like that one. Also really like this one, actually. That one's really nice. So let's go with that. And then we're... Yeah, 19. I also like this one just here. I might come back for another one in a bit. So I think these are really good. It's looking pretty cohesive already. Oh, gone wrong. That one should be there. And then that one should go there. That's it. Is that right? Every other? Yep. Got my ice cream. I might just go back for one of those ice lollies now, actually. Because I did like the ice lollies. It's a nice one. What I think is really incredible about this kind of movement of these simplistic colouring books is that they're actually being marketed at both like children and adults, which I think is pretty cool. Just make that one smaller. And just for the kind of, I guess, aestheticness, I'm going to kind of have that one in this corner just here i'm going to make that one a bit smaller that might just change up the angles a bit there we go and i'll shuffle this round in a bit in a moment well, that's nice right hang on let me go back to my current page so 33 now you see like this is kind of all happening like really quickly so 34 is blank, 35. Let's have a look at some pancakes. And you can obviously add way more than what I'm adding in. But if you actually just notice, like the other books are just so simple. Melon would be quite a good one, I think, to colour. You're really thinking about what the enjoyment is because these are really simple pictures. But if you've ever watched any of the TikTok videos where they're kind of colouring in and things like that, you'll see that they actually take time to add in like the additional details. So that's why you don't want to go too much. I'm going to look at some cake. Page 87 is the thank you page. So let's go. Thank you. Thank you. 
is use this QR code to get 10 free colouring pages. I'll just quickly type in here because I'm not going to put in a QR code right now. But if we get something along those lines, so then you can just kind of see. And there we go. So there's that. So they'd be able to scan that in. And then I might just add in like a. Um, few more images. I put that up actually, it feels yeah. No. I put that back to center. And then I think I'll just raise that up. How's that? That's a bit better, isn't it? Um right, let's go to elements. Let's go for um Milkshake, maybe we didn't do any milkshakes, did we? Milkshake and maybe that one. Yep. That's nice. No, it's not. It's not quite right. Mm, milkshake. Oh, how about popcorn? We didn't do popcorn either, I don't think. Let's make that a touch smaller. Yeah. I think that's good. So I have actually created that colouring book in around about 25 minutes. Looking at how long my screen recording has been going, it's 32. Um, obviously, I showed you the Amazon pages first. Then we looked at the um, TCK, looking at how much they're making per sale based on their BSR, plus then we've set this up. So we're looking at about 25 minutes to make an 87 page colouring book. And it is, it's nice, it's cohesive, like it's working together. And now we just need to go on and make our cover. So let's get going with that. So now we're going to create our cover. So we're actually going to start a new project. Um, I have over here the cover calculator. So for an 8.5 by 8.5 book, the full cover size in inches needs to be 7.448. So that's going there, 7.448. And we need to change that to inches. And then it needs to be by 8.5. 0.75. Create new design. What I'm also going to do is just download this template as well. I do find they just helps you visualize. Firstly, what we're going to do is just kind of look at the background cover. Now I've kept up the Amazon page so that we can kind of just refer and see. So largely we're going for like these kind of earthy, peachy, yellowy tones, which I think does seem to be working really well. So I think I'm gonna go for something similar. So we're gonna go over to our color wheel. Let's go more, let's try. Yep, something like that is good. And then again, so looking at this, so we've got quite bold writing, food, drinks and sweets. So I think I might call it food and snacks colouring book. 
Yeah, food and snacks, colouring books. Let's try and find the right sort of text for that. So you want something, again, quite kind of simple. Actually quite like, not the time. Oh, actually, I do quite like that. Let's go food and snacks. And then we'll change that to colouring book. Oh, capital B. Oh, it's not going into capital B. Okay. Now we need to bring all that much smaller. Food and snacks colouring book. That does look pretty good already. With that one there, I think I might just add like a bit of shadow or something to it. Let's just try that. Maybe an outline. Snacks colouring book. Let's try and jazz it up a little bit. Let's get a few things on there. So we're going to go for the pizza slice, of course. On there is a good one. Let's bring that in. Might put that one down there actually. I feel like that will fit much nicer. Um, let's go for a milkshake. Just see all oh, by the way, I've I've started filming and someone's decided outside to mow the grass so i'm really sorry if you can hear that i can't control my neighbors let me see no okay how about popcorn i always find like it's the covers that take the longest amount of time let's go for a cheese burger Projects. There's a new page there. And then I'm just going to add it in. I'm going to get another one. Let me try and see that one, paste that into there. And what we'll do in a minute is just add some like white squares around these. We'll make it a little bit more uniform in a moment. The reason I'm using these specifically is because I want to have it looking very cohesive. So I want to make sure that the pictures that I'm showing on the back are definitely the ones that are like inside. And then if I get that one. There we go. So that would be four. So if we now just try and get these all to be about the same size. And then we can get them all in alignment in a moment. Roughly speaking. Right, let's go elements. We want a square. That's really nice, actually. In fact, I would possibly go back through and add these. through my pages because I think that looks really good. It's just quite a nice little border, isn't it? So now I'm going to just literally put that 
in the corner there. I'm going to drag that out. I'm going to change that to white. And then I'm going to position that at the back. So layer, center the back. There we go. So that looks good. There's kind of something with the front here that I need to work on. So looks better. So there we go. That looks much better. Um, that's the back. I'm going to add in here. So I'm just trying to think what's kind of missing. I might add in some like little stars or something. Let me just have a little look. So some people have added in like some smaller things just there. Yeah, I think it might be. They've gone for stars actually. Look, and that does look nice. Oh, some blueberries or something might be nice. I just feel like at the moment it's just looking just a touch flat. Let me have a look at some blueberries. Blueberry. See some of those. Not just just that up a little. a little bit too uniform if you go more of those. Maybe shift that one. That can go there. That's it. Food and stacks. I think take that one out. Maybe add another one of those in. There we go. There we go. Now I can just stretch that out and just have a look and see how that's looking. So there we go. Um, let me just go for the opacity there. So we can see. Right, so we can see here I need to shuffle all of that over. So let me just move. Let's have a look at the layers. I kind of want it like there, don't I? There we go. And then you can see here, so obviously the barcode is going to go on there, so that's okay. And then that there is quite well aligned, but I am just going to shuffle it all over a bit. I'm just going to move it out of the way because I do quite like the placement of everything now. And then I can bring that back. So I feel like I just want something a little bit more in the background. So I am going to have a look for some stars, I think. Something, yeah, something maybe like that, but just maybe a lot smaller. Okay. Layers, show all. Let's have a look. So I kind of want that needs to come up. All of those actually just come all the way up. That's it. Oh, I'm missing one little frame there. And that's just going to start behind that. That's why. So that's looking better. Let me just grab that again. Take that away. How's that? Yeah, that's looking a lot better. I might just add in, see just this area just here, just a couple more of the stars.
think that's just giving it a lip a touch more lift than what it had. Let's bring a couple down as well. Feel like I've I've gone all in now. It's these little things that just think give it a bit more depth and life to it. So I kind of feel like you want it. Like a lot of the ones that we looked at, I did think looked a bit on the flat side. There we go. And then what I need to also do now is let's just go back to the layers. Let's go layers, show all. And now I want to select that all the way to there. And we're going to move that all the way to there. That one comes across a bit, that one comes, that one can come in a bit, up a bit. And that's just kind of tweaking it and making sure, you know, you're kind of happy. But I don't want it to look ridiculously busy, you know. So let's have a look now, see how that's looking. So yeah, I think that looks really good. I'm happy with that. Let's take out the cover. Yeah, really nice. So now all I need to do is download that. So we're going to go share. I'm going to download this one. Yeah, we'll go for PNG. That's good. Download that one. And then we're going to save that. And then next up, we're just going to download this one as well. Download. PDF, PNG, sorry. And download. And then we're going to save that one. There we go, fab. And that's it, that's our book all done. If we just open up the documents, just so you can have a little look. So that one there opens up as a zip file. So you would need to extract them all. And if we just go to the view, we'll go for the extra large icons. There you go, and you can see them all coming through now. So then they're all ready to upload over onto Amazon KDP. So since filming this video, I just made a couple of little tweaks because when I was editing the video, I wasn't very happy actually with how the finished product looked. So it's actually still very similar. As you can see, I haven't really changed too much. So what I have done is just on these little images, I've added a little bit of a shadow. So to do that, you just literally hit edit. And then in here, you can add shadows just there. So I've done that there. Um, these I kind of resized and centered a bit more as well because they were kind of a bit off as well. So it's just a few little tweaks. The popcorn I moved out slightly. I like that where it is now. But, you know, there's still room to move around. And if I was actually going to be selling this book, then I would spend a lot more time on it but obviously the idea of this video is just to kind of show you what you can create in a certain amount of time and I think I could keep playing and tweaking it and all those sorts of things for a really long time in fact let me just see how the stars look if I was to add a little glow shadow to them yeah see that doesn't work that's quite nice. I don't know that you'd necessarily want that on all of them, but it just, it gives like, if I just show you, it just gives a bit more depth there, which I do like. But I think these colouring books, the appeal really is that, you know, 
there is it's very limited it's very simple in its aesthetic so yeah I just wanted to show you that because I, I felt as though I tweaked it changed it and I didn't want you to kind of see that final product and think mm, not so sure about it but just with a few little tweaks you can make a really big difference you can see I have literally created that coloring book within like 30 minutes super simple that's coloring book the cover is so simple and easy to do now obviously I'm probably not going to go and upload this coloring book onto Amazon KDP because it's not in my niche and it's not where I'm I'm never going to market this book or do too much with it but if it is within your niche and within your style, then why not? Like, go and make something similar. We can see these books are selling and they're doing really well. They're currently not copyrighted, but just add your own twist and add your own flair to it is all I would say, because you want to stand out from Megan Miles and Coco Wyo and Vivi Tinta. You don't want to be in exactly the same space. You want to elevate yours to a little bit more okay thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to like subscribe leave me a comment as well and let me know what tutorial you would love to see next cannot wait to see you all next time thank you so much bye